everybody welcome 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 to another number five class five is so special that five has to have several classes not just one but two classes so let's get started and not waste any more time today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting the number five last class we did some things with number five but we didn't do what we're going to do today so welcome to the abacus math club mathematician junior as usual, we have to go back, Sankofa, to make sure that we have the skills that we're going to need to build on the skills that we're going to learn today. First, we had a vocabulary word, and that vocabulary word was a shape. And that shape was special because the shape had how many sides? Let me hear it. How many? Five sides, exactly. You might remember the number of sides that the shape has, but do you remember the name of the shape? Did you say Pentagon? If you did, good job. If you forgot, just say it five times and I bet you remember. Pentagon, 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 Pentagon. I said it five times. Now I'm sure to remember. As we said, number five is a special number. And let's review a little bit and go back. Sankofa. We talked about the friends of five. Just as a review, we'll talk about them again. The friends of five were zero and five, one and four, two and three. And we can reverse them to five and zero, four and one, three and two. Let's make sure you remember. So let's have a activity time for review to make sure. Now, you're gonna see two numbers on the screen and I want you to look at those two numbers with a plus sign in the middle to make sure that they are friends in five. If they are friends in five, you're gonna say check. If they're not, you're gonna sound like a big old truck and say <coughs> Ready? What about zero and five? Check. Good job. Next, what about one and five? Huh? I can't. Did you say eh, like a big truck? Very good. One and five are not friends of five. That's too big. How about two and five? Friends of five? Eh, I hope that's what you said. Four and three, are they friends in five? Eh, no, they're not. Not at all. I like the way you said eh, like a big truck. Zero and two, are they friends in five? Eh, not at all. Part two of our activity time. We're going through these quickly because we are still reviewing our skills. You're gonna see a number sentence on the screen just like this one. This number sentence is zero plus five equals five. That's what makes it a sentence. What I want you to do is to look at the first two numbers, in this case, the zero and the five, and tell me if those first two numbers are friends in five. If they are, we're gonna continue with our sound effects. Those are just funny sounds that come out through video and sometimes through audio. Zero and five, are they friends in five? Check, good job. What about five and five? Are they friends in five? <coughs> Next, we have three and two, are those friends in five? Check. Next, we have two and four. Are those friends of five? Eh. Okay, and four and one, are those friends of five? Check. Good job. One and three, are those friends of five? Eh. I tricked you. Did you look at me expecting me to give you the answer? Nope, I sure didn't. All right, let's keep going. Let's do a quick Sankofa review some more to make sure we're looking at our junior counter. We can't forget this guy. This guy is so important when it comes to counting and adding and all that good stuff. Now, let's remember lower beads, as we said, and each lower bead counts for one. The value of the lower bead is just one. So each lower bead is worth one, like one dollar. But the upper bead, on the other hand, is worth five. 